In this tutorial, we're gonna take a look at how you can back up a Mac to a Synology NAS using Time Machine. Now we're gonna be utilizing SMB for this, and there's a setup process that we have to run first on the Synology NAS and then on the Mac itself. But after you set it up, it should run on its own in the background without you having to do a thing. Before we get started, I just wanna mention that I have full written instructions in the description of the video. Now I already went through and created a shared folder on my Synology NAS that I'm gonna be using for my Time Machine backup. Now if you didn't do that, I'll leave a link in the description of the video that shows you how to create a shared folder. But the one thing that I wanna point out is that you're gonna to have to set a shared folder quota size. Now if you don't use a quota, what's gonna end up happening is that Time Machine will use all the available space on your Synology NAS. So by setting this shared folder quota size, we're actually just limiting it in how much space it can actually use. So to do that, you have to open up the shared folder and you have to edit it. And then from there, you can select advanced and then you have to enable the shared folder quota. From there, you could set this to be whatever you want. I'm just gonna be setting it to be 500 gigs, but in general, you probably want it to be at least two to three times the size of the hard drive so you have enough storage space to really utilize some of the backup capabilities. Once you finish doing that, you're gonna head over to File Services and then select Advanced, and you wanna enable the Bonjour Service Discovery to locate the disk station, and then underneath that, you wanna enable Bonjour Time Machine Broadcast via SMB. So like I mentioned earlier, we're gonna be utilizing SMB for this. AFP is an outdated technology at this point. It's something that you don't really wanna use if you don't have to, so we're gonna be specifically using SMB. As soon as you do that, you can select Set Time Machine Folders, and then you can select the folder that you wanna back up your Mac to. After you save and apply all of that, you can open up the system preferences on your Mac, and after selecting Time Machine, you're gonna be able to select Backup Automatically, and this is just gonna ensure that Time Machine automatically backs up in the background without you having to do anything. At the next step, you should see the folder that you set up on your Synology NAS at that point. You can also encrypt backups if you want, so this will just ensure that the backup itself is encrypted on your Synology NAS, and then after you get to the next step, you're gonna be able to connect to it and then you're gonna to have to enter in a DSM user and password. Now you have to make sure that the user you enter has access to the shared folder on the Synology NAS, but after you enter the credentials and you connect, the backup should automatically start. Now at this point, with the backup automatically option enabled, this will automatically back up in the background and you're not gonna to have to actually do anything. Now we're gonna switch over to the actual restoration side. So we're not gonna look at how you can restore an entire Mac. In the written instructions, I have a link that'll point you there and I'll leave a link in the description. But restoring files is extremely easy and what you have to basically do is open up the launch pad. From there, you can search for Time Machine and then you can launch the application. And then a finder window is gonna pop up that you can actually go back through all of your backups and view all of the files. So if you have a file or a folder that was accidentally deleted, you can go back through those backups, you can right click whatever file or folder it is, and then you can restore it to a specific location. That's how you would restore individual files. So on a day-to-day -day basis, that's most likely what you're gonna use the most. Like I said a little earlier, you can definitely restore an entire Mac, but it's a little out of scope for this video. The point is that at this time, you'll be able to back up your Mac to a Synology NAS, and then if you ever have to restore any files, you can also go through and restore them, and you'll be restoring them directly from your Synology NAS. So I'm hopeful that this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to the channel if you like this type of content. Thanks, guys.